The history of nursing in Chattanooga spans more than 100 years. To appreciate the origin of the UTC BSN program, we must look back to 1918 when Baroness Erlanger Hospital formed one of the state's first nursing schools. It was developed in partnership with Chattanooga Medical College, which became part of what is now the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. The Baroness Erlanger Diploma Program continued for decades. In the early 1970s, UTC leaders saw the need for a nursing program at UTC and asked Mary B. Jackson to move from the University of Alabama to Chattanooga to develop a nursing program at UTC. While the diploma program had been quite successful in educating nurses, on March 12, 1985, the students in the Baroness Erlanger Diploma Program were told quite abruptly during their morning class that the school would close in July. This was in response to the National League of Nurses' refusal to accredit their program. The only regional option going forward for these students was UTC or a community college. As nurses often do, these students mobilized and about 75 of them attended the Erlanger board meeting in April of 1985 and convinced the trustees to reconsider. The chairman of the Erlanger board, Tom Chamberlain, admitted that the school was an asset to the community, yet their minds were not changed. They did agree that they could keep the program open until all students who were enrolled could graduate. This last class graduated in 1988. But by this time, the School of Nursing was well established, all because the foundation had been laid a decade before. The Department of Nursing at UTC was established on January 1, 1973, and received initial approval three months later by the Tennessee Board of Nursing on April 20, 1973. Mary Burroughs Jackson served as the inner director in an office which she says was a broom closet in Race Hall. There, she worked with a core group of people and many whom became long-tenured faculty, such as Martha Butterfield and Barbara Norwood. They wrote the proposals and developed the curriculum in conjunction with community and university advisory committees. A special project proposal called an LPN ADN DPL BSN Upward Mobility Program was submitted in a grant in the fall of 1973 and was funded for $142,041 in July of 1974. The new program was recognized at the SREB Council on Collegiate Education for Nurses in Atlanta of October of 1973 and the Council of Baccalaureate and Higher Degree Programs of the National League of Nursing recognized the program as a new member in November 1973 in Kansas City, Missouri. Earlier that fall, 85 students were identified as nursing majors. The first nursing course, Nursing 101, was offered in spring of 1974. The first faculty member was hired in August of 1974, and the first clinical course was offered in spring of 1975. The faculty approved the curriculum in February of 1975. Miss Marjorie Zekin succeeded Mary B. Jackson and became the director of the department on July 1, 1975. Full approval of the program by the Tennessee Board of Nursing was granted on October 15, 1976. The National League of Nurses awarded initial accreditation on April of 1978 and the department of the school became the School of Nursing. The first class of 28 students graduated in May of 1977 and 100% were successful on the first writing of the state board exam. That high pass rate continues today. Since that time, the school has been led by Dr. Patricia Heiss, Dr. Kay Chitty, Dr. Dana Wartenberger, Dr. Kay Lingram, and the current director is Dr. Chris Smith. As the BSN program was developed in the early 1970s, something else was happening that may surprise many in the Chattanooga area. Few people know that 50 years ago in 1972, nurses were being educated to provide anesthesia care here in Chattanooga. What started as a certificate nurse anesthesia program for BSN prepared nurses is now offered at the doctoral level in our School of Nursing. Urban Myth says that when Erlanger Hospital decided to provide a program in nurse anesthesia education, physicians walked the halls of the building asking if any nurses wanted to earn the certificate and they focused their recruitment efforts on the ICUs. 
Three nurses were in that first program with a minimum of 300 class hours in six areas, 450 anesthesia cases, and 600 hours of clinical experience. These three students demonstrated competency in administering such anesthetics as ether, nitrous oxide, chloroform, IV barbiturates, muscle relaxers, and IV narcotics. They also had to complete 10 cases in each of three specialty areas, emergency surgeries, geriatrics, and pediatrics. In 1994, UTC School of Nursing collaborated with the Erlanger Health System and the former Erlanger School of Nurse Anesthesia program to transition the nurse anesthesia program to a master's degree level. The first anesthesia student earning a Master of Science in Nursing in Nurse Anesthesia graduated in 1995. Today, 50 years later, our program offers the Doctor of Nursing Practice degree and is a three-year program with 111 credit hours, 28 of which are clinical practicum courses. Students are required to achieve at least 2,000 clinical hours and a minimum of 650 cases. A UTC nurse anesthesia student averages over 2,500 anesthesia hours and most have nearly 1,000 case experiences. During the past 50 years, over 800 CRNAs have completed the program. Our students play a critical role in our clinical partners' patient care enterprise. Each year, UTC nurse anesthesia students consistently provide nearly 48,000 supervised patient care hours and administer anesthesia under clinical preceptor supervision to about 24,000 surgical and obstetrical patients. The UTC School of Nursing continues to move forward. The first class of DMP nurse anesthesia students started in January 2022, 50 years after the first class graduated from Erlanger Medical Center's certificate program. By 1981, the School of Nursing had graduated several classes of BSN students. It seemed a logical next step to petition to become a chapter in the prestigious Sigma Theta Tau Nursing's Honor Society. This society, founded in 1922 by six nurses at Indiana University Training School for Nurses, now IU School of Nursing, was the first organization to fund nursing research. The Greek words sigma, theta, and tau translate to love, courage, and honor. The founding principles of the organization. Several faculty members, including Mary B. Jackson, Martha Butterfield, and Barbara Norwood, along with Charlene Parsons and Christine Little, applied for a charter. On November 6, 1981, Susan Baird, who was president of the Nursing Honor Society at UTC, received confirmation that the National Council of Sigma Theta Tau approved their petition to become a chapter. The name Zeta Alpha was assigned to the Chattanooga chapter. Then, in 1982, UTC's charter application was approved and an induction ceremony and the installation of the chapter followed on April 4, 1982 at 4 p.m. in the Roland Hayes Concert Hall on campus. Rebecca Markle, chair of the National Building Task Force for Sigma Theta Tau, came to Chattanooga for the installation ceremony. Fred O'Bear, the chancellor at the time, was the guest speaker. A reception followed in the flag room in the Gary Center, which was rented for $50. Please note, a key to the space was optional. Dress was semi-formal. Now, as one of 540 chapters across the world, the Honor Society is open to baccalaureate, graduate nursing students, and community leaders in nursing who demonstrate excellence in scholarship and to nurse leaders who exhibit exceptional achievements in nursing and is by invitation only. The School of Nursing faculty celebrated this achievement on April 4th by wearing purple, the color of Sigma. The organization fosters the development of nurse leaders with the goal of improving healthcare for all. The annual induction ceremony for current UTC students and community members is still held every fall on campus. As advanced nursing education became more important in the nursing community, UTC once again answered the call in 1991 and started a Master of Science in Nursing program with degrees as a clinical nurse specialist in adult health, nursing administration, and nursing education. In the next two years, the nurse anesthesia program admitted students. Then, in 1994, the family nurse practitioner specialty concentration was added. Ann Chen, a family nurse practitioner herself, 
was the founding director of the program and was instrumental in gaining approval for this program. Many of the nurse practitioners here in Chattanooga owe her a debt of gratitude for guiding the university through the process of adding this concentration to the master's program offerings. The first class of family nurse practitioner students graduated from UTC in 1997. While this program has been highly successful, the school added a second concentration in adult gerontology acute care in response to a request from our acute care facilities to address the need for specialized advanced practice nurses to provide critical care for adults in the inpatient setting. This program started in the spring of 2016 with post-masters family nurse practitioners who were working as hospitalists. Erlanger Hospital paid these FNPs to return to school and earn the second advanced practice degree. All 10 students passed their certification exam on the first attempt. Since the first graduating class, more than 350 nurse practitioners, 30 of whom are focusing on adult acute care, have graduated from the program. Seeing the growth trend in doctoral education, the School of Nursing began work in 2003 to develop the somewhat new Doctor of Nursing Practice degree for Postmasters Advanced Practice Nurses. While it took several years to write the curriculum and gain appropriate approvals, the School of Nursing admitted the first cohort in 2011 with graduation in 2012. This marks their 10th anniversary. The same year, the school began work to add concentration in nursing administration, which was the first BSN to DMP program. With the addition of the three advanced practice tracks, the DMP now has five concentrations, postmasters, nursing administration systems, nurse anesthesia with the family nurse practitioner and adult gerontology acute care nurse practitioner concentrations beginning in 2022. The curricula in the School of Nursing have remained current. One thing that has taken on more and more importance is the area of simulation. With the ongoing challenges of limited clinical placements and faculty, this methodology has become important in the field of medicine, but you may be surprised to know that the School of Nursing has been using technology to support the students in this way since the 1980s when, and I quote, a Texas millionaire named Harry Bradley made a trip to the Chattanooga area and left a gift of $41,500 for the development of the learning lab. The money was used to purchase equipment and learning tools. Dean Pat Haas said the learning lab would be very important in the development of the education of nursing students. No one knows why he came to Chattanooga or why he was moved to give this gift, but we can be sure that this initial gift set the School of Nursing on a course that embraced the use of technology in nursing education. Fast forward to 2001, when another generous benefactor gave a significant gift to the university. The Lupton funds have been used to purchase the first mannequins for the school and the safe hospital, located in the former Metropolitan Hospital building, was created. The current students spend at least eight of their clinical hours in simulation in the School of Nursing's Safe Hospital. Now, the undergraduates and graduate students rely heavily on simulation as a way to learn critical skills in a safe environment. What does the future hold for the UTC School of Nursing? Several years ago, we identified the need to increase the number of BSN graduates. Unfortunately, the current space in the Metropolitan Building is already at maximum capacity. Expanding enrollment requires new facilities. We began planning a new building more than three years ago, and thanks to the hard work of our UTC team, and the support of our legislators, particularly Senator Bo Watson and UT System President Randy Boyd, funding for the proposed new building was included in Governor Lee's fiscal year 2023 budget. We are optimistic that the General Assembly will fund this important project in the budget they pass later this legislative session. The proposed 92,000 square foot facility will be located on 3rd Street across from Chattanooga School for the Arts and Sciences and will allow us to increase our undergraduate enrollment by 60%. With the approval of the project this year, we plan to accept more students in the undergraduate nursing program beginning in the fall of 2023. It's our hope that the School of Nursing will move into their new facility in about three and a half years. The building will include classrooms, laboratories, interactive teaching space, and a state-of-the-art simulation laboratory. This 92,000 square foot building will help the UTC School of Nursing 
deliver an excellent educational experience to more students. As you can see, the School of Nursing has had many changes over the last half century. Even through COVID-19, the faculty, staff, and students achieved their goals and the first-time pass rates for the students remained at the same level they were before the pandemic. This is a tribute to the students, faculty, and staff. Everyone associated with the school has volunteered to give vaccines and triage clients. More importantly, we have all learned firsthand what we can do when we're single-focused. The School of Nursing continues to be a leader in transforming nursing education and promoting health by engaging students, faculty, and graduates. They do this by providing quality nursing education and excellence by actively engaging students, faculty, and staff through respectful partnerships, fostering integrity, embracing diversity and inclusion, inspiring positive change, and providing nursing leadership for the future of person-centered healthcare. We have come a long way in more than 45 years, and our path forward is bright.